Hello, I'm here at the Cryptozoic booth at San Diego Comic Con with Deacon Wheeler. Hello. Hey, how's it going? So, uh, you've got a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, why don't we uh, start going through some of this cool okay. stuff, all right? Where do you want to start? So, why don't we start down here at the bottom with uh, The Walking Dead. Right. Now, this is actually on Kickstarter right now. This is our Walking Dead No Sanctuary board game. Um, it has been designed by Adam and Brady Sadler, who are famous for designing the X-Wing Miniatures board game. So we're working on that right now on Kickstarter. We're unlocking some great stuff. It's on until August 1st. But we have a really cool mechanic where in a lot of tabletop board games, when there's co-op, the, there's a table captain problem. This it forces the table captain. You almost don't want to be the leader, just like Rick almost doesn't want to be the leader. Because if people disagree with you in the game, you get stressed out in the game game mechanic. Huh. Yeah. So the more stressed out you are, any character can get stressed out. The more stressed out your characters are, the more black dice you have to roll, which raises threat, more mistakes happen, more walkers show up, and then everyone can die. Oh. Wow, that yeah. sounds like fun. So uh, made by the people who did X-Wing, is it kind of like the same mechanics? No, it's a completely different game. It just We wanted to work with some people that were fantastic designers, and they really are. This is a completely different mechanic than the X-Wing Miniatures board game. This is more along the lines of cooperative strategy and trying to just figure out the puzzle of each scenario. It's a scenario-driven uh, game. So each, if you see over here on the right-hand side, there's a scenario called Scavenging Ground. That's a tutorial scenario. The base game comes with six scenarios, three that are kind of tutorial, get you into the whole game, and then three that are very canonical. So going through everything up into the CDC of Season 1. We also have two expansions coming out with the game as well that are Season 2 and Season 3 feeling. So we have uh, What Lies Ahead, which is based all around the farm. You get everyone from Herschel to Maggie. And then the next one is The Killer Within, which is when Michonne starts shows up and when Carol starts taking in things on her own. Okay. So, so you guys already have, you know, you, since you already have a TV series, you're basically going to be expanding as the TV series goes. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's, that seems pretty cool. So it's um, grid-based. We've got, yeah. uh, what is it, 36, 34 squares, 36 squares. And... Um, I imagine you then move, or and then you look for something where in the ground. So I, I see you've got um, what are those like uh, magnifying glasses? Yeah. So that means that there's stuff there. Exactly. So each each building has a search its own special search deck that you build at the beginning of the game using rules, and those searches can bring up everything from water to walkers. So okay. you can bring up something great, something bad. In the scavenging room, you're literally trying to get all of the search cards off the deck. You want to search everything. You want to get your supplies back up and then get out of the area. But, of course, you're going to find some walkers while you're searching around. Um, but, yeah, it's grid-based movement. On everyone's turn, they do one of three, they do three things. One, they immediately play a card from their hand. They, they, each one has a survivor deck. Mm -hmm. Fifteen cards. Once you're out of cards, you're dead. So your oh. deck is your health. Um, but you must play a card from your hand, which gives you an additional action. Also, it has a red, yellow, or green symbol on it that matches with the leader's approach. If you are non-compliant with the leader, the leader gets stressed out. But your idea actually might be better than the leader's idea. So if you're not matching with the leader, you're having some troubles there. So, um, but you're moving around the board. Uh, you, get, uh, you have to play that card immediately. Then you must choose to do a maneuver and an action. Your maneuver allows you to move up to two spaces, rest and gain some focus, rest, rest and gain some health, use some of the combined supplies that everyone's going. And actions are everything from grappling, helping de-stress everyone else out, or using the action that is printed on the card that you get. So you get one special action that you could use instead. Wow. Yeah. So that, that sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, it's currently on Kickstarter now. Yes. Um, great. So uh, why don't we move along? We've got um, these pendants yep. from the original superpowers. Um, are we getting everybody? That's the plan. So this is the first printing of these guys. We're doing some testing on colors and everything like that. A lot of stuff that I'm going to show you today in this booth, in this area, is stuff that's going to be coming out later this year or early next year. Okay. So this is kind of our prototype booth. Okay. Um, so we've got uh, Phony Bone Vi uh, Bank. Yeah, Phony Bone Vinyl Bank. He's actually going to come painted. We didn't get this guy painted in time, so, but he's going to have the right colors, black shirt, the, uh, the bag and everything like that. Now, right next to him is Phone Bone, and we do have him here today. So he's $25 MSRP, okay. and it's the first time they've really done anything vinyl with Bone. So we're working with Cartoon Books on that, and we're loving the relationship with them over there. Sweet. Um, so then we've got uh, uh, Brave and the Bull Maquette. Like, that looks gorgeous. Um, tell me about the uh, Green Lantern Bank. 
does it I see what makes noise when it comes out? What noise do you think it makes? Mm, I don't know. Is it the oath? It is the oath. What? It makes the oath whenever you press the button or put a coin in. Oh wow! Great. So I can I can sit here and try to charge my better. <laughs> oh, damn it! I don't think I, don't, I think your your yeah, power. I don't have the keys. Sorry. Right. Prototype. It's a, a, a prototype. It's not. Let's see. Blackest day. No. Brightest no. night. No. Nothing. Oh well. Sorry. Um. So okay. And then we've got um these cool hands. Yeah. So we've got a, a Harley hand and a Joker hand. So why why just the hand? Who's done that before? Let's do something different. We Everyone sees a maquette. Everyone sees a huge bust. Everyone sees the character. Everyone knows the character. Why not do something life-size? Why not do something different? So we're trying to do a whole line of calling cards. Everything here, think of as the beginning of a line. Okay. So we've got our Cohen card statue, which is going to be the first in this line. But next we have Harley's hand, and we have some other ideas with some other hands that you just might get in some inside your head that you could see working. Mm, I... I, I wonder what it could possibly be. I wonder who. Hmm. Um, great. So then we've got uh, what is this? Ar Arkham um, from the from the the video game or what? Where are these characters from? These are actually Jay Frenrix's designs, okay. and it's just some stuff that we're trying to do with the uh, with the uh, mugshot. So every single one of them is a mugshot bust. Mm. It's a little bit different. We're trying to go hyper realistic here. So we're just. A lot of what Cryptozoic is trying to do, we've always been known for board games. What we're trying to do here is launch our merchandise line, and we're kind of just trying what works. Okay. We're making what we have, and we're trying to do something different. Sure. So everything here should be something you haven't seen before. Right. And that's really what we're trying to do. So we're starting off with Harley. Harley's actually going to be the first one. She's already, our paint master's out there being made right now into the full size, fi into the figures. Joker's going to be next, and that's the first time we've actually seen Catwoman sculpted. She came to us two days ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, we haven't even had time to get her hand-painted. Wow, that's, uh, that looks great. Uh, yeah, the Joker, so the Joker is hand-painted. Of course, the, the, the mass productions won't be hand-painted. That's just a prototype. Uh, but the painting looks gorgeous. Um, they really look really good. Absolutely, and we're trying to make sure that the, the mass production will be as good. So we're aiming for these guys to be the high-quality uh, resin figures that everyone loves so much. So we're trying to aim these at about the hundred dollar price point that everyone expects them to be at now um did you guys go all the way and actually um uh, put the the height at the correct height for all these characters absolutely nerds good lord all right um so what's we've got these uh micro figures here these look really awesome yeah we worked with dan Shoning on this who does a lot of the comics with idw mm. so he designed a lot of these with us and these are just micro figures along his style and uh they're coming out later this year and uh, we'll be a uh, set of 16 and uh, in blind bags. So you buy a bag and it might have the guy you want. Or you buy the whole set and you probably get what you want. Right. And are there chase figures? Absolutely, but I can't tell you who they are. Oh, good lord. Uh, but you'll give me one when we're done, right? Right, 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 right. Uh, they're, they're all right here. This is all I got. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so tell me about this, um, this game here. We've got uh, Giant Killer Robots. This is a augmented reality tabletop battle game of some sort absolutely have you seen the demo over at uh what is booth uh, i haven't i there, you want to go over there tomorrow at around noon uh we're working on this with them this is their ip uh -huh. and they've been building this ip up for two two three years and it's a fantastic comic book kind of pop pop art style when you start looking at the cards okay. but it's a 1v1 uh battle miniatures game and these are the scale of the actual miniatures uh, you can see a bigger one over on the other side of our booth. So see some bigger ideas of King Wolf, who's our orange one. Okay. We've got uh, Thunder Happy. We've got Diamondback. And it's all fantastic. Yeah. No, it, uh, definitely, I'll have to swing by the Weta booth to, uh, to check it out. I mean, augmented reality, that's, you know, it, it's been a thing that's been coming, but people can't really get it right. So, I mean, the, the figures look cool. I guess, you know, people will be able to paint them. They'll come with decals and stuff. Um, Great. So we've got this really awesome Coop inspired Batman 66. That looks pretty pimp. Tell me about that. All right. So that one I'm I think the most happy about. It definitely has a Daddy Roth, doesn't it? Oh, it, it does. It yeah. Does. I'm, yeah. Surpri I'm surprised that Batman isn't, you know, popping out with, you know, holding a, a eight ball stick shift or something. Exactly. But yeah, this one's actually coming out quarter four. Uh, we actually have some cool ones that are some being going to be some variants over in Jap Japan, too. 
you've seen some of the uh, coloring that they did for the TV show for the posters where they had red Batmobiles and stuff like that. Yeah. We have some variants going that color inside of Japan as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's some cool, cool stuff going on with that. I really like that one. So, um, again, this is uh, hopefully the beginning of a line of, of Coop-inspired. Exactly. You know, our, you know what we have. So you can just think in your mind's eye what we might be working on behind closed doors. Uh, an invisible jet, right? Oh, look, the invisible jet is right there already. Oh, yeah, right next to it. Hmm. Um, great. So um, you've got another uh, blind bag thing here, except this time it's, it's meeples. Mm -hmm. and now, meeples are, you know, generic pieces in various board games. And uh, now I'll be able to, instead of a regular meeple, I can use Green Lantern. Exactly. That is awesome. So tell me, tell me about this. All right, so these are blind bag reveals. Each one of them is going to MSRP at uh, $3 per bag, and they come with three figures. There's a little bit of a chase with them, too, but it's probably pretty easy to get all who you want. So you can build your team for your favorite board game. You could get Agricola with Catwoman, Batman, and three Robins. That's awesome. Right? So, yeah, that's, there's a lot going on there. Everyone you see on there is going to be in part of our Series 1, and we have four con exclusives here today. We have three with uh, the custom, uh, with the uh, classic Justice League, including uh, Jay Garrick. Mm -hmm. We have one with Botwana Beast, and we have one with Comanche Chief. I'm sorry, did you just say Botwana Beast? Yes, that's what I meant to say. Wow. Okay. So I, I, I absolutely. So now, are you guys going to be releasing like rules for games? Like, I imagine Attack on Meeple City is completely different game when the Meeples are superheroes. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It would be really awesome about that we want to. oh my goodness yeah. um great so um we've got uh <laughs> back scratchers uh we've got uh mini hula girls um but i think i think the the thing i i i love here oh look she can move a little bit um the the thing i really love here is the mini comic book spinner rack so uh for people who may not know um comic books used to come in spinner racks um you've got a box You've got these classic books. Tell me how this came about. Everyone loves them. I mean, it is, it is really the, the past of comics. So we're bringing the past of comics to the present. Uh, the idea here is you will get, be able to get the rack, and you'll be, it will come with the starter set of uh, comic books. But you will be able to buy additional booster sets of other comic books that you can update your rack with and everything like that. Huh. So, so uh, are, are they going to come blind bagged? Uh, I don't know too much about that yet. We're still designing some of the ideas going on with the comic book rack, but we are going to plan on putting out the uh, first part of it uh, in quarter four this year. Qu wow, that's uh, that looks really cool. Um, and uh, well, awesome. Um, so uh, and now we've got these uh, random shoes made um, from characters. Um, so th those are just like, you know, one off, one, one, it's not like you're making pairs, you're doing single shoes and you're doing uh, various characters. I see uh, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, I imagine Supergirl, and Harley Quinn. Uh, so tell us how, how uh, where these came about. All right, so there's a certain other company that has a certain other huge franchise of comics, and they certainly do things that look very much like this. They certainly don't have anything that's DC related, so why not make those abilities and those uh, shoes for the people that like it? We want to make sure that both men and women feel included in our product line. So what's really cool, actually one of my favorite parts about one of these, is if you look at uh, Wonder Woman's shoe, her heel is actually the invisible jet. It's a clear acrylic. And then we've got other things like the Lasso of Truth for her strap. We've got the cape for Supergirl as the heel there. And then you got the uh, whip for Catwoman's. Huh. That's, well, uh, you guys are nerds, obviously, paying right. attention to detail, and that is awesome. Uh, and finally, we have, is this, uh, is that Max Fleischer, Superman? It sure is. It sure is. It sure is. Uh, and what is he standing on? Uh, Daily Planet Sweet. It's from the first episode of the Fleischer. It's when the mad scientist attacks Metropolis. The so we're, Exactly. So we're basing it off of that. We're trying to do... Something classic, something from the series, and bringing homage to it as well. That's that is awesome. Well, uh, this has been great. Thank you so much. No problem. And uh, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to to, to seeing some of this, especially some meeples. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, definitely I want some comics. So again, thank you very much. No problem. And um, I'll I'll see you guys in the next interview.